guess how you do it, Madam Shabby, Madam Shabby, Madam Shabby. And today, uh, we woke up in Calico, and holy shit, I am so fucking tired right now. They brought, uh, like, how many water bottles? Like, five water bottles? Not even, we have, like, two. We have two left? And they just stole We have a fuck ton of Cokes and Pepsis. Very healthy. We're so dumb. How you feeling, Logan? I hit dirt bikes, dude. You hate dirt bikes? I hate dirt bikes. I feel like they're like this far from the tent. In reality, Logan was just trying to show off the size of his immensely large dick. Okay, so we uh, took the trail up a little bit more and we're back to where we were like a couple weeks ago. We finally brought some rope and we're gonna try and explore this mine that Eddie almost got stuck in. <laughs> Remember that? You're scaring the shit out of me. Okay. You gotta pull me. Alright, ready? Set. One, two, three. Holy fuck. Dude, never again. God damn. Oh, my stomach hurts. I mean, what's worse, that or going down this? Oh, fuck you. Dude, so I was like, there's a big mine over here, and I. Go this way. I fucking knew it. Look how far down that fucker goes. That's so scary. Dude, get the fuck away from there. You can't even see the bottom. Fucking terrifying. Uh, I am going to go back to the car now. Okay, so we're at the mine that. Eddie got stuck in last time, and it looks like someone died here in 2003. <laughs> wasn't me. Wasn't me. We got this rope. Where are we gonna tie it to? Fuck, we didn't think about that. I'm not jumping across that shit. So what I did was attach a rope to this rock, and then we got stuck in this little cave thing. And it's going all the way over to the mine. It's a good thing I got 100 feet of rope. Okay, who wants to go down? Hey guys, who's going down first? It's a dope watch. It's the latest fashion trend. Damn, you must get all the bitches with that. I do. I'm gonna go take a piss and then get a bigger rock so that I can hold it down. I am excited. I've never uh, descended into a mine. It's the first time I've done it. I'm glad I'm doing it we, with you guys. We honestly like kind of ghetto rigged it. Just held in by like, it's kind of a small rock. But honestly, I don't even need it getting up it or down it, but. It was just a safety. Safe, safety precaution. Keep going. Oh, it just stops. Yeah, watch your head, man. This is just holy shit. Yeah, we need more rope. Oh. This flashlight died, dude. It's tough. Oh my god, no, yeah, we're not going down this one. Oh my god, this shit goes on forever. Oh my god, that's so scary. Fuck, dude. Okay. That's pretty deep. Fuck, dad. <laughs> Good. I don't know. I feel like it just goes down. Then how are we gonna get rope. up? I feel like that rope isn't good enough to hold us. The weight was only 135. Plus there's nowhere to tie it to. Well, next mine, I guess. What do you think is down there? I don't know. Someone died down here. Well, I died here too. No, it, dude, it, it said our- Yeah, it said on the wall. Someone died. Eddie, you're making me real nervous, man. It ends right there. Though. It ends? It just stops? Does it all cave in, you think? Yeah. yeah oh, I can see the bottom here. I'm gonna hold on to your shirt. Backing up. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to even tie like a oh, shit. Fuck you, Eddie. Oh my god. Watch your head. Oh, back in the light. Let's see what's down here just for kicks. Oh wow, this one keeps going. Shit. Do you really want to go in there? Why not? It's really small. Do you want to go down there? <laughs> I don't care. Fuck, Dad. Who wants to go down? I'll go first. You want to go first, Daddy? I don't think the rope's gonna reach quite that far. Is it crazy in there? God, this is so scary. It goes on to another side. Holy fuck. Yeah, about Oh, no, uh, I'd rather not. Oh, no, Fuck, can. dude. Like, Want me to climb up over there and see where it comes from? Yeah, go. Yeah, there should be a mine shaft over here somewhere. Damn, they went in so deep. Oh shit. There's no way it went this deep. So it goes. No sense. Where the fuck is it? Wow. That goes down really far. Okay, so we thought we found it, and we're like, oh shit! 
Nope. <laughs> Over there. You're never gonna get your water bottle back. Okay, so I think we found it. It's so deep. I don't know where Eddie went to. Like, where the fuck? Eddie! You good? Yeah, I'm just trying to find the best way to get down. I'm gonna go grab Eddie really quick. Okay, Logan is descending into the mine. Okay, so we made it down to the hole, and there's fucking it no, just there's ends. There's not there. Oh, dude, what there, the fuck? Look how all these cans are though. Look how old those are. Oh man. There's literally nothing down here. Now we gotta climb up this fucking literal. You want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. You good? Uh, I mean it's a lot easier than that, or it's a lot harder than I made it look. But... Woo! Here goes nothing. Bless you. Oh god, you got your germs all over me. You made it! You good, Robbie? Yeah, I'm so fucking scared of heights. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, that was fucking terrifying. We did it! I'm fresh. Oh god! <laughs> Back there? Oh my god. Eddie, you should come back up here. Oh, back to Peggy Sue's for some lunch. Oh boy. Whoa, look at all the famous people who's been here. We got Clint Eastwood, we got Whoopi Goldberg, we got these dudes. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Billy Melody? I don't know who that is, actually. Um, yeah, we got all the cool people, I guess. Do you want to be up on the wall? I'm going to be on the wall. They've already, I've already signed a contract with them. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, now we're heading back home. I am so fucking tired. Logan, how you doing back there? Dead asleep. He's... Is, is, he de is he asleep? Oh shit. I think he's dead asleep. That's how I'm tired of this. Oh man. <laughs> oh, okay, so back home. I got a little bit burnt. Let's see, we got behind my arms. I always get fucking burnt there. I've been trying to get rid of this farmer's tan since I was five years old and I still haven't been able to. I got calf burn. I don't know if you can see how terrible that is, but... <laughs> it fucking sucks. Oh, I don't know if you've ever had a sunburn on your fucking calves, but whenever you sit on something, it just rubs. It just ah. Whoosh. Hey, guess how you doing? My name's Rob. My name's Rob. My name's Robby. Oh my God, who the hell is that? It's Logan. Logan Paul. Oh my God, I don't have a shirt on, Robby. Hey, Logan Paul. No, that's what you're known for, Logan Paul. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man. Oh, flex it off, man. Oh, fuck. Oh. So intimidating. Oh, fuck, dad. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Dude, you oh, guys over there. You oh fuck, dad. Actually, you kind of look like Logan Paul's little brother. I can see that. What, what's his name? Jake Paul? Oh, yeah? Yeah, but your name's Paul. So I guess I guess that still works, right? No, your friend's name is Paul. Oh, yeah. Wait. So when we're together, it's Logan Paul. Yeah. And if I had fr if I was friends with Logan with Logan Paul, and I was friends with you and Logan, it would know. You and Paul. What, what's going on right now? There'd be a lot of Logan Pauls. There would be too many. This would get very confusing very fast. Woo! Okay, so I'm gonna be taking Logan to Venice. Uh, we're gonna be skating around for a little bit. We're gonna possibly meet up with Hair Motherfucking Jordan. Hair Jordan. And then Logan is leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. You're gonna come back, right? I'm coming back. You better fucking come back, you little boy. You're a strong boy. Tell your wife I will fight her for you. I'll tell her. You have to fight her though. She's really scary. She's the scariest four foot tall woman I've ever met. <laughs> scariest four foot tall woman. <laughs> She'll punch me in the dick. She doesn't even have to go far. She doesn't have to reach down. She just. <laughs> We've just been chilling down here at Venice. Visited uh, Logan's friend Cody. Cody. Really dope dude. A lot of great stories. Now we're having some really good pizza. This looks so fucking good. I've never seen pizza that look, like, damn. It is so good. Uh. Woo! Back to the car. What? Good to go? Yep. Enjoy smarter travel with TSA Appreciate it. has been fun, dude. Me too. Fuck, yeah, text me when we get Yeah, hit me up whenever you want to come back. Okay, so I'm about to run a bath, and I just realized I've had a hickey all day. Thanks, Leah. <laughs> Woo!
Ooh, okay guys, so now it's time for his comment question of the day. Yesterday's, oh, I actually skipped yesterday's and I did a five hour long live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Anyway, the last comment question of the day was, give me your best April Fool's prank and you guys gave me a lot of freaking great answers. I'm going to about, right now let's do it. Ah! The best prank is to get in a big bear costume and scare your grandpa. Oh, that'll teach grandpa. Although he might have some PTSD from that time he got attacked by that bear. Poor grandpa. Throwing dildos from rooftops. Ah, uh, nothing says good morning like getting smacked with a big dick. Get a balloon, fill it with helium, and write fuck you on it with a marker. Then put it in the toilet and it'll float up when you open it up. That's actually so fucking clever. If someone asks you for a couple ice cubes, you only give them one. Get a life-size cutout of Robbie and put it in Brian's room and see how he reacts. Put lube on your hand and thigh slap someone. The best April Fool's prank is monsters saying they'll sponsor Robbie. <laughs> Oh, classic. I told my mom I was pregnant, and then I told her I really was pregnant playing Russian roulette with a fully loaded gun. <laughs> Send your mom a dick pic, and it's actually Robbie's black dildo. Slap someone with a dildo and say you bought it from a homeless man. Oh, the wondrous places that dildo must have been. I slap someone and say happy April Fools while pouring monster on them. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's up this fight right down there. This comment question of the day is... What are some struggles that only guys understand? Your best answer down in the comments down below, and I'll read them in tomorrow's video. Okay, guys, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi awkward ending. Okay, bye.